Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Good Alls Country Kitchen. I'm out here on Cane Run and I'm at Daddy Vic's Soul Food. I haven't been out on Cane Run before, but uh, I know there's a thousand places out here I could review. But anyway, what brought me here was, is I saw some great reviews, like on Facebook reviews. Uh, they had 66 reviews and it had a 4.9 and had some good Google reviews. But anyway, uh, I looked on their menu great soul food and one thing that also caught my eye was they said that the owners and the employees are really nice and welcoming so uh that goes a long way makes you feel good about spending your money someplace but anyway uh if you believe in my mission of supporting local mom and pop restaurants all over all the neighborhoods of louisville you can help me and support me by hitting that subscribe button and hit the notification bell and go ahead and share the videos on your social media and we're gonna go ahead and go on in here and see what we can order starting off with uh mary's got the fried chicken you get the the whole wing it's like some good breading she got the mac and cheese and mashed potatoes those look like real mashed potatoes by the way i can already tell without tasting them that that ain't no instant all right, Mary, what do you think of your, uh, how's the chicken? It's really good and crispy. Good and crispy? Okay. How do you like it breading? I like it. Good deal. All right, I'm about ready to find out for All myself. Right. Like I said, the whole wing was like a good, flaky, crispy breading. I'm gonna go ahead and try that. Mmm, good and crunchy. Mm. Very good. All right. I'll finish that later. But I'm going to go ahead and start on my first main entree, which is the, one of the Saturday specials, which is the meatloaf. And I got mashed potatoes. And you might notice, instead of the brown gravy, I got the red gravy on the potatoes. And they only serve the meatloaf once a week. So you know. All right, I'm kind of taking a little halftime break on the food, but I want to show you around the place because it's really a nice place. As you see, place clean as a pin and it's big. Got a lot of seating in here. They got TVs, you can catch ball games in here if you want. But when you come in, you come in this line here and you see they got plenty of parking out there. Anyway, you come in this main line right here and you can see over there the steam table. You come up and somebody's gonna be smiling and greeting you. Yeah. All right. Oh, you're the owner. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And what is your name, sir? Clarence Jordan. My wife is Monique Jordan. All right. Well, it's good to meet you. I'm kind of taking a halftime break on my food right now. So I want to kind of show around the place and look at this uh, steam table of food here. You got shoulder bones, a neck bones right here, meat loaf, and a hot stem. The fried chicken is over on the side. Oh yeah, we gotta show the fried chicken, of course. I've already showed that in my video, but there's a fresh batch just came out. The whole whole wing. Got a microphone. Uh, turkey green beans. Yep, made with turkey. Turkey green beans. Turkey green beans. Yep, made with turkey. For y'all that don't eat the swine, they uh, got the turkey with the green beans. Oh yeah. Oh, they got their own line of the Kool-Aid. Okay. Well, I'm trying to be, you know, 
good on the sugar or else I would have got the Kool-Aid myself. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start in on the rest of that food and we'll be back shortly. Look at that mac and cheese. I'm about ready to get into some of mine here in just a second. All right, so moving along, that meat, meatloaf was thunder, by the way. All right, this ended up being a special treat that I wasn't expected. Wasn't expecting because I'm gonna try something I haven't had for the first time. It's called shoulder bone. It comes off uh, pork and uh, I had a little taste of it before I ordered it and it was absolutely delicious. And look at that, this falls off the bone. Mm. And I got mine ordered over rice with the brown gravy. Mm. This is excellent. You don't see many places that serve shoulder bone, shoulder bone. So definitely gotta get out of here just for that. And also, the owner let me try uh, what's called the boss sauce. I'm gonna try a little bit of that on there. He makes it and it's derived out of uh, habanero pepper. And he gave me a complimentary bottle, which he bottles it himself and ships it all over the country. Remember, it's called Boss Sauce. So if you want to try that out, give them a ring. Check out their Facebook page, website. But come on in in person and get it yourself right here. Don't wait for it to be shipped. All right, let me try this Boss Sauce. They said it was really spicy. kick to it a normal person would probably be reaching for their water bottle right now but what I appreciate about it it's got a nice heat to it but it is very very tasty all right I've been eyeballing this macaroni and cheese ever since I sat down look at that so cheesy mmm Another one of them flavor intoxication moments. Good thing there's not a, a what would you call it, a breathalyzer on that uh, flavor intoxication because I'd be definitely uh, locked up. Mm. All right, now the brown beans. Looks like a seasoned with pork. Let me try some more of that boss sauce for the beans. I know, I didn't taste them before I put the hot sauce on. Don't be trying to hit me over that. Mmm. That boss sauce gives a perfect blend and accompaniment with those beans. I'm telling you. Now, I've already tried the uh, cabbage, the seasoned cabbage, and again, it's seasoned with smoked uh, sausage. It don't get no better than that. A little boss sauce in there for a second try. Mm. I'm telling you what, I'm not lying. This is in the top echelon soul food in Louisville. Of all the places I've been to, I've been all over the West End, South End. I've been Franco's, Big Mama's, Dasha Barber, 40 Acres and a Mule, been to all kinds of places. This ranks up there at the top. Check out my archives on my channel. Look at all the different soul food places I've been to. This ranks right up there at the top. I'll be back, I'm gonna eat some more, and I'm gonna give you some more final thoughts in just a second. I'm not ready for final thoughts yet. I was being all polite with that fork, eating that shoulder bone. But I got this one that's got all this big hunk of meat there on that bone. You just hold on to the bone. Mmm. Mmm. And look at that. Not overcooked. I'm telling you what. 
And that ball sauce is some of the best tasting hot sauce I've ever had. Everything here is like over the top, really good. I've still got cobbler left to eat before we get to the final thought section. But I'm challenging all my East End friends, you need to make the 20, 25 minute drive, get out here because you're not gonna find as good a soul food anywhere, especially out in the East End. You're definitely gonna be hard pressed to find any soul food in Louisville better than this. That's why it had a 4.9 on the Facebook reviews. But all right, we're gonna finish up on this and then we're gonna to get to the cobbler, which I heard was they're famous for. And we're gonna be back in just a minute and get on in with that. Before I move on, I just gotta show you that Mary takes after her daddy. She don't leave much on those chicken bones. She even eats the, the ends off the bones, just like her daddy. And I also just noticed that she stole two of the cornbread muffins. I only got one and she got two. All right, I'm still working on this shoulder bone. I'm telling you, everything I've had here is a pleasant surprise. And also, they have daily specials. Uh, you gotta look on their Facebook page or their website and they have different daily specials uh, Wednesday through Sunday. They're closed on Monday and Tuesday. So you definitely got to check out the web page and Facebook to keep up. And Sundays are their uh, busiest day. So you got to definitely check out the, the Sunday specials because uh, I've heard everybody lines up to get in here. All right, still got that cobbler left to come. Be back in just a way. The name Daddy Vic uh, is a tribute to Monique's father who passed away in 2017. And they named the restaurant after Vic uh, for her late deceased dad. Now how sweet of a tribute can that be? You might have seen this picture in the middle of that mural that I filmed earlier. All right, now we're gonna start in on the cobbler. So save uh, and as I said I was told that they're famous for this cobbler peach cobbler look at that mm. 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 excuse the animal noises but that's just off the chain oh you know I'm trying to watch my my blood sugar these days, but that all went out the window today, folks. Mm. Mm. I'm telling you what, every item that I've had today is worth the 20, 25 minute drive I made to come out here, and I'm definitely coming back. As I said, I challenge you in the East End Get out of here because you are gonna thank me when you come out here and get some of this food. All right, we'll be back in just a minute and I'm gonna give closing words out of, after Mary and I smash this cobbler. Be back in just a minute. All right, I rarely do this, but after talking to the owners, they're just so down to earth and nice. I just persuaded them to do like a little interview this is Clarence and his wife Monique. I know I already touched on some of that info, but I want to go ahead and ask you know a couple questions, a little backstory here. So, Clarence and Monique, where did you all learn the tricks of the trade on this top-notch cooking? <laughs> well, we grew up around good food. You know, my mom she used to be a chef. She was a chef at the sit back on town. And then, of course, my husband, his whole family can cook. So his mom, his grandmother, my grandmother, you know. So we got married, you know, we just started making our own recipes. We took a little bit of what everybody else taught us, and we made our own. Okay, and you mentioned also your mom. Yes. Uh, had a good, in, a big influence. Yes. Uh, maybe a little bit about, you know, where she learned her uh, craft. You know, I've never even asked her that. She's always just had a love for cooking. So, um, as a little girl, I was the one in the kitchen watching her cook. Mm -hmm. And so I developed a love for cooking when I was a little girl. So it just kind of followed me by my life. And I'm the same way, my mother found we got big family, so we all cook, just pitched in and did our thing. So we both kind of got married. It was just like a marriage of uh, recipes and food. Yeah. 
And you mentioned that you had a relative work at the Seal Bible yes, Hotel. Yes, my mom. Your mom? Okay, I'm sure she learned a lot there. Oh, yeah. A lot. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank she you. Um, worked there 15 years. Oh, wow. Yeah, she was a chef. So most of my childhood life was right. like that. Seal Box going to keep chefs around for 15 yeah. years. 15 years. Not the real deal. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so tell me how it came about that you ended up opening Daddy Vicks. And how long have you been in business here? Okay. We've been in business for two years. January 2nd, May, two years. Woo! We opened up in the height of the pandemic. So even to this day, we still got a lot of people coming in, getting their food to go. And I guess that was just kind of the top business model. But we started out, uh, this used to be when our child care facility. We had five of them one time. Um, so we ended up taking this building and getting, um, and opening up uh, a restaurant in it. Because uh, as we looked on this, on this corner, we came down to eat our lunch. It was just too much fast food and processed food, so we couldn't eat that every day. We said this would be a perfect spot for little to experience some good home cooking. All right, great. I'm not even going to do the closing uh, clip outside. I think uh, that Clarence and Monique pretty much summed up everything. Uh, that hot sauce, the boss sauce, they sell it five dollars a bottle. You can call up here, pay for it, have it shipped. But they'd rather you come in in person and get that boss sauce so you can try all these other delicious things that they make here. And we'll 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 the Wednesday, Wednesday, fried chicken. Wednesday <laughs> through Sunday, uh, every day of the week, Wednesday through Sunday, come and see us. Check us out here at Daddy Big Soul Food, 44, 44 K1 Road. All right, with that said, y'all don't know nothing about this Daddy Big. <laughs> now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Good Country Kitchen.